Well, hello there viewers, and welcome once again to an episode here on the Shamblecraft server. It is episode 25, and if you look behind me, you will see something incredible. Yes, that is right. The shulker boxes are gone. They have all been sorted into the system. The only thing that remains are these two, uh, which have materials we're going to be using today. And, um, yeah, a couple of ones in here, but let's not talk about them. But, yeah, now most of the things have been sorted. So if we jump down here now, we now have in the correct slots a whole bunch of stone, a whole bunch of cobblestone. We've got some diorite, granite, dirt, uh, and... Was there granite in there? Uh, we got a whole bunch of dirt, we got a whole bunch of grass, we got gravel, sand, sandstone, we got different types of logs and planks. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of stuff in our storage system, and that is good news because that means we are on our way to having at least the shell and base content of this base ready. So, what is here is this is basically stuff that is going to be sorted manually and that's why I've put it there so I can sort that later without it sort of cluttering the place. We also need to remove all these torches that Mechanist so gracefully donated a while ago. And also, I've done a little bit of a change right here. Also, Oof Darth Vorthen. Uh, I have replaced the Netherbrook stairs with purpose stairs because, I mean, looking at that, that just looks so much better than the nether brick because of uh, our change to using more purple concrete. Uh, and I think actually that is a change that, we're gonna, that we are going to use uh, for a lot of the base because uh, the plan was to use nether brick for, for a lot of the stairs and stuff. But I think actually we're going to do the purple blocks. But yeah, the storage system is done. I've also, if we jump down here, should be able to jump down here, I think. There we go. I have actually made a little staircase here to where I've started digging out a little tunnel. And that tunnel is right underneath the chests from the super smelter. And the reason for that is we're going to make a water delivery system that goes all the way over here. I haven't finished digging that tunnel yet. That's going to go all the way over to the start of the storage system. And it's then going to have a lever so that we can use the storage system in conjunction with the super smelter. So basically what we can do... Oh yeah, that was going. Only 12? What? That's not right. I've been smelting stone for ages. That's weird. Okay, I'm going to have to look into that. But yeah, uh, so... Um... What I want is to have a lever here that I can pull, and that will send the items straight into the storage system. So, for instance, if I put a whole bunch of netherrack, a whole bunch of cobblestone, a whole bunch of different things into this uh, input chest, instead of, you know, having to take it from this chest and then going back over there and putting it in there, I can just flick the lever and send it straight into the storage system. However, we can also leave the lever off in case we want to pick up the stuff ourselves. But, yeah. Uh, so episode 25 the episode i originally wanted to use for a server tour which has now been postponed at least an episode due to the fact that episode 23 had to be split into two so uh at the time of recording episode 23 and 24 hasn't come out yet uh, 23 is scheduled to go live uh tomorrow evening and tonight is supposed to be the shamblecraft uhc2 uh but yeah what i want to do First of all is this base is starting to look really good, especially now that we've cleaned it up. Uh, but there are some bits that st still remain. Like, first of all, we really, really need to uh, get rid of all these torches. We really need to finish up the lighting with some more permanent solutions. And also, we really need to finish the roof and the upper section because that is not good looking at all. And also, especially... Uh, this bit up here really needs to be taken care of. So what I'm going to do, I am going to grab the stuff in the shulker boxes over there and we are going to finish the roof and this section here to sort of have the inside of the base looking good. And also I'm going to take the purple glass 
and finish covering up these sections so that the storage system is safely sealed off. Uh, and that also means we have to make a permanent entrance and exit to it. And that is something I think we're going to have over here. Um, basically a water elevator or something going straight down here. Either that or... Uh, yeah, I, there's probably going to be a water elevator like straight down here or something. Uh, these are the water elevators that are already here. You can also see I've put some signs up here. This is the main entrance door to the storage system and this is going to be the elevators or the bubble elevators leading up into the tower so yeah this is going to be a building episode uh, hopefully the last super build heavy episodes in a while because i'm hoping to finish as much as i can of the actual base in this episode so yeah i'm going to start working so uh, prepare for a barrage of time lapses
Okay, viewers, as you could tell from that long series of time lapses, a lot of work has been done. However, I have now been offline for a couple of days, and, well, somewhat worryingly, I have been told, record when you go to your base. So I'm going to be entering here through this new side entrance that you saw me make. And, uh, I mean, I can immediately tell see a chicken and more chickens oh god how many chickens is this gonna be oh my god ah uh, this Did I sign up for, like, the Hermit Challenges and not realise? Like, should I be looking for some sort of Uno Reverse card? Oh, and there's even more back here. And there's going to be even more down here, isn't it? Yeah. Ah. Uh. Oh, that means there's probably going to be some some of them in the main maintenance area. Let's check for that as well. Yep. More chickens. Chickens chickens literally inside the redstone of the storage system. And there's probably going to be chickens up in here. Uh, no. No. Surprisingly not any chickens here. Uh. So the question then is how many chickens have then gone up the, the new elevators? There are one, two, three, four, five, six chickens at the top of the elevators and I hear chicken everywhere uh. 
I mean, I'm not going to be putting blame because last time I thought it was Mechanus and it turned out to be Johnny. But this was either done by Simon or someone definitely wants to pin it on him. Given that they've covered up my portal with bleeding emerald blocks. So... And there's, there's a chicken who's been laying eggs into the deposit hopper of my storage system, meaning that the storage system is now going to be full of eggs. And are there chickens in the super smelter? There are no chickens in the super smelter. Okay. So that's some good news. Let's turn the super smelter off. I mean, not for lack of trying. The chickens have clearly been trying to get into the super smelter. Uh... But why? Why the chickens? You could have left so much here, but chickens? God damn it, I'm going to be cleaning up eggs and chicken poop for the next 70 episodes. I'm going to have to rewrite plot lines. Is this... Is this... Uh, it's like some sort of Chris Nolan dark version of the Poultryman origin story. God damn it. <sighs> well, I mean, if we... We do now officially have a Poultryman on the server. You make a valid point, Johnny. <sighs> And now the chickens are going into that tunnel as well. Neat. Which means my base is now officially 100% covered in chicken. Well, anyway, I'm going to pretend that the chickens aren't here. And I'm going to talk about some of the work that's been done. So, as you can probably tell from the time lapses, we have basically finished the main room. Except for that bit, you didn't see that. We have put in some purple slats in the roof and lit them up in the same way as the rest of the base. Uh, we have put in a layer of purple glass that separates the storage system from the rest of the base. Uh, we have, as you... That was probably last episode. We've cleared up, cleared up all the, the shocker boxes. A lot of them are now behind here. And we've also done a lot of work... Uh, in terms of the rest of it, we have not finished the tunnel going into the uh, sorting system from the smelter yet. But, as you could probably tell on my hunt for chickens... Uh, oh yeah, this um, this elevator is not really safe. I'm going to have to look into that. Oh god, it's flooded everything. Oh god, why? Uh, gaga <laughs> Where's my bloody things? Okay, give me a second. Um, technical difficulties. There. Good. Okay, now. And I can't place the things in there because bleeding chickens everywhere. Oh god, I... Can you imagine if that had poured into some of the redstone? I might actually have started crying. But yeah, so this bit here is basically done as well. And what I have decided to do is I've had a change of plan. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using this floor right here and possibly some blocks underneath it for the farms. And of course, I haven't visited this place, but this is also, of course, covered in chickens. Uh, and the view from over here is amazing. But yeah, so basically, this is where the farms are going to be. I'm going to drop doing anything. How did you... Oh yeah, it's you. Um, I'm going to drop doing farms on that side. I'm just going to do all the farms on this side. And I'm going to be doing some sort of living quarters in this tower. And what I'm thinking is, I'm going to use the top bit of this tower to construct a penthouse. And I'm going to have some sort of... Um, some sort of uh, elevator that uses a key card or something for you to get into it. So hopefully that should look cool and, and function somewhat. Um, but yeah, that is basically what's been going on with the base. Uh, 
I honestly don't, I, I have to say, I haven't rendered the time lapses yet. So I don't know how long that was, but uh, yeah, as you could probably tell from them regardless, a lot of work has been done. Like all of this that was done here was about, I'd wager it was about uh, three, four hours of resource gathering, followed by at least two days of building. I spent basically my two days off building. Um to make it look cool and uh, yeah hopefully um yeah hope hopefully uh this is gonna be uh, something that i'm happy with i mean i'm very happy with it now and hopefully this is something i'm gonna be happy with in the long run um this section here i haven't finished 100 percent. this is being finished um but the rest of it uh, is now as good as done murder 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 Hello, chicken. Goodbye, chicken. You know what, maybe I can just make a chicken farm behind here. That would work. You know what, let's just take this grey wool. And we'll just seal off this general area here. Go in there. Go in there. Go in there. There we go. And murder the rest. And I think you are the final one. Well, the final one here. We still have uh, we still have all the guys up on this floor. Uh, I mean, at least I'm getting a bunch of eggs. I can probably find a use for them. And there we go. So we have successfully recreated the crucial scene from Revenge of the Sith using chickens. I see there are a couple of young Jedis who have escaped me here, but with that taken care of, I think it's time we prepare a retaliation because it's now been uh, a day or two since uh, this happened. I have, uh, as I said previously, been very busy lately, so I haven't been able to play as much. But I'm now back on the server, and I think after all, after doing, spending most of this episode doing base work, I think it would be a nice finisher to, well, retaliate. And thanks to, I mean, I, I could say thanks to some detective work, but let's be honest, they basically said straight up in in-game chat that they did this, so it wasn't really, didn't exactly need Sherlock Holmes to figure this out. But what I have found out is who did this. So what we're going to do, we're going to take all of this chicken loot. We actually got a chicken head. That could be in handy. Um, and what we're going to do, we are going to plot out a revenge. Because you see, the culprit is a man by the name of Darth. He is fairly new to the server. And uh, I think this was his way of sort of saying thank you for letting me join. So I feel I would be a terrible server owner if I didn't go over there and sort of leave him a little welcome present. So, um, so yeah, I think I'm going to go do just that. Because right now, he is not online, meaning it should be fairly easy. All I'm going to need is some, um, some materials. I'm going to have to go get them somewhere else. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go get some materials and I will see you over on Darth's Island. Well, okay then, we have two shulker boxes ready with materials. So let's head over 
to where we need to be. So, basically directly east now. And I know that Darth currently isn't online, and I also know that Darth won't be online for a while. Because they are in the US, and they usually play at times when I'm not online. Uh, so this over here is Darts Island. I remember this because I've been here delivering some dirt. Uh, we can see Darth's house here. With some sort of hellish thing going on here. Ow. Hmm. I'm thinking, ow. We leave him a present right in front of his house. That he cannot miss. And hopefully, he should love it. I mean, at least Darth can sleep knowing that I... Sleep well knowing that I did find a good use for all the eggs. Let's see how many chickens we can squeeze into this box. And I think... No, one more stack. But with that, that should be all of the chickens. So then we grab some of the white concrete that I accidentally left down here. And we seal off the box. So the next thing to do now then is we need to, well, we need to make sure that this box doesn't accidentally activate too soon. So I'm just going to do, I'm going to use the sword here. I'm going to take down this wool. And the box is well lit on that side. The box is well lit on this side. The box is well lit on this side. And then we grab a sign. And we put it here saying, Welcome to the server. Uh, dear Darth. Welcome to the server. Lots of love, Valley. That should do it. So all we need to do now, let's make a bunch of carpet. There was some more wool here. We can make carpet out of that as well. And we'll make a nice little sort of entryway ahead here. There we go. And then we finalise that with the pressure plate on there and I think what we're going to do to make sure that no one else accidentally ends up here do we have any wood we don't I mean Darth probably has some wood here you know what I'm just going to nick a couple of logs from you Darth you won't mind I mean after all you're getting enough livestock to feed a small nation in return uh, so, make some dark oak fence. That's probably not going to be enough. Make another set of sticks. And more dark oak fence. And we're going to need, actually, one fence gate as well. I forgot about that. Do you have any fences anywhere, man? I'm just going to nick some more planks from you. It's like the most worthless blocking game anyway. So, uh, what is the fence gate again? It is... Ah, oh, we need more sticks. Okay, so more sticks and then one fence gate. There we go. And put that there and uh, yeah, we can just leave the feather. You're going to have a lot of feather anyway. Okay, and then we put some fences around here to make sure that it doesn't accidentally set off. There we go. And we put a fence gate right there. And then... 
Stone pressure plate. Torch, torch. Out of torches. That's ironic. Take that. Torch. There we go. Nice little gift. A friendly little sort of welcome to the server gift. I will take all the stuff that we have left over and just put in a box here. Well then, that is that taken care of. And how many chickens do we have in here now? We have roughly 90 chickens. And they're probably going to, you know, procreate a bit and uh, enjoy themselves. So yeah, I'm just going to let that box sit there and breed. And we're going to head back to our base. But I think, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time we have for today. So I would like to say thank you very, very much to everyone who joined us in this episode. It's been an absolutely amazing time making those episodes for you, and I'm glad we've made it to 25. And fingers crossed we get to make 25 more. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!